Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Inspirational Moments. I am Reverend Glendale Miller from the beautiful islands of the Bahamas. This program is designed to inspire, motivate, and encourage as you make a difference right where you are. I invite you in prayer. Our Father and our God, how grateful we are this morning for this marvelous day that you've made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Bless our efforts, we pray. May your people be strengthened and encouraged. This we ask in your Son's name. Amen. Good morning, everyone, and a warm welcome is extended to all of you. And what a delightful joy it is to have so many of you tuning in. I have been receiving encouragement from you uh, via email and also through text messages, and I am encouraged. I want you to know that your words of encouragement continues to provide the inspiration that is needed as we make our way through this life and how refreshing it has been these several months. I want to express my profound appreciation to all of you and pray God's richest blessings upon you. I point you this morning as we continue in the gospel according to St. Matthew, the second chapter, and I read verses 9 and 10 for your consideration this morning. When they had heard the king, they departed and lo, the star which they saw in the east went before them till it came and stood over where the young child was. When they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceeding great joy. When they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceeding joy great joy. I want to talk this morning from the subject, Jesus, what a wonder you are. Jesus, what a wonder you are. There are a lot of symbols at the Christmas season all represent something. Santa Claus, mistletoe, wreaths, candles, etc. I've always admired the beauty of poncettas. And as a result of admiring them, I conducted a research the name Ponsetta was named after Joel Ponset, who happened to be the minister to Mexico and a native of South Carolina. He introduced them to America in 1825. In Mexico, Ponsetta is called Flor de Nachi Bruna. Christmas Eve flower. 
it is truly the Christmas plant when you see them appear in the stores you know that Christmas is not far away traditionally the star shaped leaf pattern is said to symbolize the star of Bethlehem and the red color represents the blood sacrifice of Jesus for our sins. Just as this beautiful plant draws our attention to Christmas, the star over Bethlehem drew the attention of learned Maggi or wise men. Although it may have been nearly two years before they arrived at the town of Jesus' birth, still they were drawn to him. The Maggi came to a house, says the Bible, not a stable or a cave. So they were not there on the night of Jesus' birth, although they looked good in those nativity scenes we have in our homes and churches. God has always used signs, special events and miracles to point people to him. The common people, especially those caught up in a world of poverty and struggle, people such as the shepherds, received their sign. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in clothes and lying in a manger. Certainly not the norm. A baby placed in a feeding trot for animals. It drew the attention of the shepherds. They knew this was a special child that had been born. And so God led common men, uneducated and the lowest class of society to come and worship the Christ child. But God was concerned about people on the other end of the social spectrum too. So God provided in his creative handiwork a sign from the starry host, a sign noticed by the scientific men of the day, a sign perhaps only those who studied the cosmos could possibly understand. The educated ones, those who had all they needed in life, were going to receive their sign too. It is the major sign, this uh, star, which is called the king star, the closest to the sun, Astronomers of the first century must have known not only the moment of that star, but the prophecies associated with it. Perhaps these Maggi knew the passage in Numbers 24 and 17. A star will come out of Jacob. A scepter will rise out of Israel. Some astronomers have studied this and found that there was indeed some unique alignments of the stars and planets near the time of Jesus' birth. And so these scientists of the day followed the unique movements of this divinely placed celestial body. My brothers and sisters, what, what an amazing 
uh, experience that must have been. As they followed the star, they knew its meaning. A king had been born. In seeking the king, they asked Herod, the current ruler of Judea, where the new king had been born. I would assume a king would be born in a palace, a prince, the son of another king. Herod called together all of his religious scholars and learned the news that Bethlehem would be the place of this king's birth. He shared this with the wise men and off they went to find the king. Why did the Magi go to Bethlehem? Why did the shepherds go to the stable or cave? Why did the uneducated, the poor and the scholarly and wealthy all follow a divinely placed sign. For one purpose, I believe it was to worship. Matthew 2 and 2 records the question of the Magi, where is the one who has been born king of the Jews? We saw his star when it rose and have come to worship him. God has always used signs to point us in the right direction. And he certainly used signs surrounding the birth of Jesus to point the most learned and the most common toward a savior that was deserving of worship. We have a beautiful uh, poncetta set up in our church and in churches I've taken note and in business places and it serves when I see them as a sign for me, a reminder of that distant day of long ago when the wise men followed this peculiar occurrence in the sky. They followed a star. And I believe, brothers and sisters, we must come to the realization that God is still speaking to humanity through signs and wonders. I've come to the realization that not too many of us still believe in signs. Signs is God's supernatural way of communicating with mortal men. Signs is a divine uh, form of communication that God uses uh, to speak loud and clear to his people. I don't know about you this morning, but I still believe in signs. There are no coincidences with God. Nothing is by accident. Everything that happens in this life is providential. God is still speaking to hurting humanity through signs. Can it be, brothers and sisters, at this hour, in the midst of a pandemic, could this be a sign from God? Just look at the happenings at this hour. When hurricanes come our way, our God is speaking through his creation, through signs and wonders. And if it happened uh, over 2,000 years ago when uh, these 
Mikey, these wise men, these intellectual, educated scientists followed a star. I believe, brothers and sisters, God is still speaking to you and to me. Jesus, what a wonder you are. What a wonder he remains in our midst in spite of all that's happening around us, in spite of the calamities and crises that have been occurring over the past several months. I believe Jesus still remains a wonder in our midst. In the prophecy of Isaiah, his name shall be called Emmanuel. His name shall be called Wonderful, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father. There is something wonderful about the name of Jesus. It gives one gooks pimples. It makes you uh, leap with joy. In fact, the Bible declares when uh, they came uh, in verse 10, when they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceeding great joy. I, I, I've been looking at that word, uh, they rejoiced with exceeding great joy. I don't know if they shouted hallelujah. I, I, I don't know if one of them said praise the Lord. I don't know if, but the Bible declares that they rejoice with exceeding great joy. In other words, it gives them a sense of hope that in spite of what is happening, they knew that something wonderful was on the horizon. And that's the word that I want to leave with us this morning. When you see your sign, know that God is about to do something wonderful. Look for your sign this morning. I don't know. Ah, uh, uh, clear your eyes. If you need some eye drops, go and get you some eye drops. But open your eyes and look around. God is still speaking and God is still uh, ministering to hurting and broken humanity. These Maggie the Bible says rejoice with exceeding great joy. I don't know about you, but when I see these things happening, the Bible says we ought to look up. When you see signs happening, you ought to look up for your redemption draweth nigh. God is about to bless. God is about to move. God is about to shake the heavens and shake the earth and speak to us with a meaningful, mighty message of hope that, listen, things will get better. You ought to believe that this morning. I believe that when these Mighty saw their sign, they rejoice with exceeding great joy. That's the challenge that I leave with us this morning. Look for your sign. Take your head out of the lap of discouragement. Take your head out of the lap of defeat. Lift up your head, O ye gates, and be ye lifted up, ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Oh, this morning I prophesy to you, look for your signs. Look for your sign. God will give you a signal, a cue to remind you that he is still active. He is still involved. He is still a part of the happenings at this hour. I pray that you would take a careful look. And see that God is still at work. Our Father, thank you, Lord, this morning. What a wonder.
glory to God. What a wonder you are. You are mighty. You are awesome. You are magnificent. What a wonder you are. There are no mistakes with you. Thank you for the sign. Thank you for speaking to us through signs and wonders. We still believe that you continue to put the super on our natural. Thank you this morning that we believe that you will turn things around for us. Speak gracious God. Move if you have to. Do what you have to do. But we are looking with great anticipation that you will intervene. You have been intervening. And we give you praise this morning. You are in the midst of all that we go through. We can see you. Through this pandemic, we can see your presence. In the midst of this COVID-19, this ah, challenging crisis within our communities and throughout the world, we can still sense and see your supernatural intervention in our midst. God, we glorify you. We bless you this morning. Have your way in our world. Have your way in our, this is your world. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof and they that dwell therein. You created this world and this world is in your hands. Glory to God. You've got everything under control and we bless you. We bless you. Hallelujah. Glory. We bless you. We bless you. We bless you. Hallelujah. Glory. Hey. Glory. Glory. What a wonder. We're looking for our sign. We're looking for our sign. Speak Holy Spirit. Move Holy Spirit. Intervene. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory. What a wonder. You are, you are, you are. Mighty God, everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. What a wonder, what a wonder on this blessed, blessed morning. We know, we know, we know, we know Jesus, the Son of God, the great I am, El Shaddai, Jesus. What a wonder, what a wonder, what a wonder, you wonder, what a wonder, I'm going to bless you. I'm going to bless you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. What an awesome God you are. Listen to me, brothers and sisters. Look for your sign. God will speak. God is speaking. God bless you this morning. And God strengthen you. Is our prayer. Thank you so much for sharing with us on Inspirational Moments. We do hope and pray that this time of sharing together has been a source of inspiration and information. May the blessings of God Almighty, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost be yours now. Glory to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. What a wonder, what a wonder, what a wonder, what a wonder, what a wonder. What an awesome God you are. Hallelujah. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. What a wonder you, you, you are. Ah, 
you are, you are. God bless you and God strengthen you is our prayer. I want you to take the next minute to think about your life and think about where you are. You've never made a confession of faith. You don't know him as Lord and Master. I offer to you the Christ of Calvary, the star of Bethlehem. Oh, beautiful star of Bethlehem. I offer him to you. Shining afar from shadows dim, giving the light for those who long have gone, guiding the wise men on their way unto the place where Jesus lay. O oh, beautiful star of Bethlehem, I offer this star to you. Let him light up your world, light up the dark places of your life. Allow him to have right away with you. Say, Lord, come into my life. Take my life and let it be consecrated, Lord, to thee. If you prayed that prayer, if you confess him as Lord and Master, he will come in and sup with you and have right away with your life. If you wish to correspond with Reverend Glenn, his mailing address is G.E. Miller. 64 at hotmail.com or you can call him 467-8939 listen I'm so excited I'm so excited about what God is doing and is about to do look for your sign this very moment God is going to speak to you it's not a coincidence it's God sending you a message, communicating from the portals of glory to let you know that I've still got you in mind and you're still under my watchful eyes. God bless you and God strengthen you is our prayer.